Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a very special unboxing video. This is the Dino Ultra Zord Funko Pop and I think this is possibly the largest Funko Pop that I've ever opened. Ever. <laughs> it's, it's ginormous. It doesn't even fit entirely on the camera as you can see there. If we scroll up a little bit. Uh, it says Pop Television, Power Rangers, well, Saban's Power Rangers, number 687. And to say that this thing is ginormous is a huge understatement. Uh, let's do a quick comparison with boxes before we go into anything else. So this here is the box of a regular Funko Pop. That That is, that is literally the size of it. We have the special edition boxes, like Minato Namikaze, and you can see there that it is both shorter in size and also smaller in scale and in width. Um, this thing, I, I did not realise how massive it was going to be when I ordered it, but I'm thoroughly amused by how huge he is. He's also quite a heavy figure, he's quite a, a weighted thing as well. But let's take a look around here. So this is the Dino Ultra Zord number 687. Of course what this is, is the Megazord, which is the original five Rangers uh, Zords all combined together, with the Green Rangers Dragon Zord being worn as a hat on top of the Megazord, and they've also called out the Carrier Zord uh, Titanus to bring the whole thing together. There you can see on the back of it you can get Retro Repulsa, Lord Zed and Goldar, three villains from the original series. Then you have the six original Rangers all unmasked, Tommy, Jason, Kimberly, Zack, Billy and Trini. Of course that is the original uh, Rangers before they were swapped over, before Zack became Adam, before Trini became Aisha, so on and so forth, uh, Jason into Rocky and such. So this is very, very cool to see it. They've also went into a lot of the details here, where the Megazord is wearing the, the white claws from Titanus. He's also wearing the, the power armor here, uh, the Oscar and Titanus. The Dragonzord's chest plate is down here, um, being used by Titanus instead. So they, they certainly have done their research, they know what they're doing, uh, they did their homework, and they have came up with a fantastic, ginormous creature. Uh, you can see that we don't have the usual stage in the background. We normally have the Budokai stage as a backdrop for these things. It wouldn't fit. <laughs> that's, that's why we don't have him. So, he is absolutely ginormous. Let us open him up. And... <laughs> like... If you guys have a love for Power Rangers, and you can find this for a decent price, I recommend it, just on the basis of how massive the beast is. And to be very careful with the way that I lifted it there, so he didn't just immediately fall out. Let us remove the... Oh, actually, the back of the box. This is cool. The back of the box actually has this Power Rangers Lightning logo, rather than your usual Funko Pop background. So, that is quite a cool little difference that you have. I wonder if they actually made this box specific for this one. Um, I know that you can get the, the super over... <coughs> my goodness, my voice is going... I know you can get the super oversized um, Funko Pops as well, but uh, this is not a super sized one. This is... Um, this is just the scale that this monstrosity actually is. And oh my goodness, would you look at the size of them. Holy crap, this is <laughs> certainly one of the largest that we have ever had on this show. Uh, he, oh, he also has the tail. He has the Dragon's or tail attached to the back of Titans. Um, I wasn't even aware that was a thing. He actually has all the moulding for the Megazord underneath here. Like, they could have cheaped out on that and they, they chose not to. Wow, this is this is really cool. Does the head move? The head does move as well. Does Titanus' head move? Nope, nope. The rest of this is all solid. This is all you can do here. Uh, you just have the you have the full head rotation here. So yes, he is absolutely ginormous. So before we go any further, let us do a quick little comparison to the scale of other Funko Pops. There is a regular Funko Pop. There is the Summon Skull sitting next to him, and you can see that someone's skull is so small by comparison. 
<laughs> he's he barely even registers in comparison to the size of the Megazord. I wonder is this some skull roughly the size of the Megazord itself? Like that sits in the back? Possibly. That's interesting. I mean obviously the Dragon Zord head has to be ginormous, but yeah, if we look at the size of that, maybe the Megazord and the Summon Skull aren't that far apart from one another. It's just everything else makes this creature, this monstrosity of a Megazord, absolutely ginormous. I keep calling it a monstrosity, enough, but I'm actually, I, I love how big they've made him. Uh, I was always... Uh, I grew up with Power Rangers. This was the series of Power Rangers that I grew up with when I was a very young child. Um, so... Seeing this <laughs> certainly does bring some joy to my heart. I am an ancient grandcat, yes, yes, I am well aware. Uh, let's compare him to the Minato. Uh, so you can see here, this is the Hokage series Minato figure. You can actually see that the, the mountain is actually shorter than the Dragon Zord head, which is crazy. So this is a ginormous huge Megazord, to say the least. It is very, very cool to see that there. Uh, let's do a full 360 of them using our little device. I would put them on the the arena, the, the Budokai arena, but like I said before, <laughs> I'm, he may not even fit on here. <laughs> this, this isn't a problem we've ever had before. He he barely fits on there, oh my goodness. Here he is, he is absolutely ginormous and fantastic. And there you can see a full 360 of them. And even the top of his head doesn't even fit on camera. I'm going to have to rotate the camera up just a little bit just to let you guys see him. And there he is. He is absolutely fantastic. You've even got the detail on the back of the shoulders here as well. They managed to keep all of that there. This is a very, very cool figure. This also has little green parts here from the Dragon Zord, uh, which I'm pretty sure the original Titanus doesn't. So that is very nice to see. Um, this is all embossed, these parts here, these aren't stickers, this, the entire thing has all been moulded, uh, the chain has all been moulded, and it looks like the tail was getting in the way there, um, of stopping him turning around, but I really love the detail that they've put into this, they really have put a lot of effort into this particular figure. There's some Funko Pop figures that they've, they have they certainly put less effort into than others, but this one, they have went and knocked it out of the park. It looks absolutely fantastic. I absolutely recommend it to any of the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fans out there. Well, there we go. Um, of course, the wheels don't turn anything. It's, it's purely solid from the head downwards. You only have the head rotation and nothing else. But that is going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.